Hello and welcome to Mythology Matters, where we explore the stories and legends of different cultures. In today's video, we're going to learn about one of the most mysterious and terrifying creatures from Irish folklore, the Banshee. What is a Banshee, and why does she wail and scream? How can you tell if a Banshee is near, and what does it mean for you and your family, and what are some of the most famous and chilling stories of Banshee encounters? Stay tuned to find out. The Banshee is a supernatural being in Irish folklore. She is often depicted as a female spirit or fairy who appears as an omen or harbinger of death. The word Banshee comes from the Irish ban meaning woman and she meaning peace. Therefore, the Banshee is the woman of peace or alternatively, woman of the fairy mound. The Banshee is usually associated with the old Irish families, especially those with surnames starting with O or Mac. She is said to be the guardian or protector of these families and to mourn their imminent deaths with a loud and piercing cry. The appearance of the Banshee can vary depending on the source and the region. Some describe her as a young and beautiful woman. More often, however, her image is of a wrinkled and haggard old crone. Some say she wears a white or green dress, others a gray cloak or a shroud. Some say she has long flowing hair others that she is bald or has a veil. Some say she has red eyes from crying, others that she has no eyes at all. Some say she carries a comb, a harp, or a silver chain, others that she has nothing in her hands. The only thing that is consistent about the Banshee is her voice, which is said to be so loud and terrifying that it can shatter glass, deafen ears, and chill the blood. The Banshee is not always seen, but she is always heard. Her cry is said to be a warning of impending death either for the person who hears it or for someone in their immediate family. Her wail can vary in tone and duration depending on the situation and the family. Some say it is a low and mournful lament, others a high, shrill and piercing scream. Some reported it lasting for a few seconds, others for several hours. Her cry is most common at midnight or before dawn. It can be heard from a distance, but she will only be heard by the family she is warning, so your neighbors might not hear a wail that is intended for your ears, regardless of the distance. The cry is usually heard by one person, who needs to decide if they warn the rest of the family, or do they ignore the wailing woman and allow death to cross the threshold of their home. The cry can be heard by anyone who has Irish blood. Although she is associated with death, the Banshee is not always a malevolent or evil being, but rather a sympathetic and compassionate one. She is said to cry for the dead because she loves them, and because she can foresee the regret in their eyes as they draw their final breath. She is said to cry for the living because she wants to warn them, and because she shares their grief, but also for herself, because she is lonely and duty-bound for all eternity. The Banshee is not a cause of death, but a messenger of it. She does not harm or kill anyone, but she can frighten or disturb them. This is where the popular term, to frighten the living daylight out of you, comes from. She does not interfere or intervene in the affairs of the living or the dead, but she will influence or inspire them. The Banshee is a fascinating and complex figure in Irish folklore. She is a symbol of the connection between the living and the dead, the past and the present the natural and the supernatural. She is a reflection of the history and culture of Ireland as she embodies the themes of sorrow, loss, loyalty, and courage. She is a source of fear and awe, but also of curiosity and wonder. What would you do if you heard her terrifyingly mournful wail in the dead of night, but no one else could hear it? I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the Banshee and Irish folklore. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Check the pinned comments below for our full mythology playlist. If you want to suggest another myth or legend that you want us to cover, you can also leave your requests in the comment section. Thank you for watching, 
Sleep well and silently, and I'll see you next time on Mythology Matters from Conlin Publishing.